Okay, everybody, check this out. So we've got a old dash cluster here uh, made out of plastic. And the uh, prior owners, they took a Dremel out for some reason and kind of Dremel out that area. I'm not really sure why they did that, but we also added some glue to it as well. All in all, this um, gauge cluster looks like it's made out of ABS, about 3 8 thickness. And I would reuse it. The only problem I have here is, like I said, they took a Dremel to that. I'm, I, for life of me, I can't figure out why. I mean, it, it looks like it's been intentionally done. It wasn't cracked or anything, but they did add like a uh, additional bezel over the edge of it. You can see here the uh, cleaner part. So they must have done something along those lines to hide this little oopsie. So anyway, um, I'm redoing some gauges here. I want to show you this quick video. You see, um, they also broke this little clip on the upper left hand corner. Not too happy about that. I was going to make this out of aluminum, uh, like quarter inch, or sorry, eighth inch aluminum. And I said, you know what? I've got a lot of marine grade plywood laying around. I probably should just use it. I've had good luck making clusters and things of that nature out of marine grade plywood in the past and I've had nothing but good results so that's what I did here so anyway there's that and let me show you what I made take a look at that so I took a piece of half inch uh, marine grade and basically traced it over top of it and have a new cluster I'm gonna fill this in with some uh, wood filler same thing here the way I cut these out was I used these um, hole saws here. This is three and a half. I got the, uh, the big one right there. Three and a half is the size. And then um, for the smaller gauges, two and one eighth. And I'll, I'll put these uh, dimensions in the uh, comments field. Just so you're wondering here, what I'm using are the standard uh, Sierra gauges. Pretty common. Most people are using these nowadays. They fit in uh, pretty well. Not a lot of play. All right, that's that one. And let's look at the uh, the larger size one here now. Yeah, same thing. Bezel co covers up any kind of little little bit of play there. It's not much, maybe. Yeah, maybe an eighth inch. But yeah, you can see how it fits along the back. Pretty good fit. So anyway, I wanted to show you this quick video here because if you have any marine grade plywood laying around like I do, I've got a lot of it. Might as well use it. If you have any questions on how I put this together, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you have any questions on your project, just let me know. Hope you liked the quick video. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you thought it was helpful. Leave some comments. Have a good one.